Hello, my name is Gan, and I come from Mongolia, and it's, uh, I believe I'm the first Mongolian to be uh, standing here on the Solana stage. And um, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, Mongolia is a large country, with a 19th largest country, with only 3.5 million people in it, out of which half live in one city. We were uh, 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 under socialist regime 30 years ago, and we tried to transition in the, in the past 30 years into a uh, market economy and democracy and uh, with all the implications that it had on livelihoods of the people. So I basically started working in 1991 for the Stock Exchange of Mongolia when we started privatizing all those socialist state-owned enterprises for free to all our citizens. And then I joined the Central Bank of Mongolia. I uh, started the first non-bank finance company in Mongolia, Savings and Loan Cooperative and founded the bank, uh, worked for the Ministry of Finance, and so everything I did was in centralized financial institutions, basically. So uh, uh, after I lost in the elections in 2012, uh, I had to uh, make a decision for myself, you know, uh, uh, what do I want to do? How do I carry on, you know? Uh, my original goal was to help my country become a richer, prosperous country so that our people could lead a decent life. Um, in 2013, thus, I initiated a movement which was called Investor Nation. Because over the course of my previous career, I just realized that uh, um, people will need to have access to finance to earn better money. And that was not enough. They needed to have safe place to save their money. The banks needed to be trustworthy. Uh, they needed insurance. They needed uh, uh, pension programs that worked when uh, uh, they grew old. So uh, uh, the idea was that I would take my company, or many companies, and make them public companies so that everybody could have uh, uh, ownership in the company uh, that they were getting services from or the, uh, the companies that uh, they, were, they worked in. So uh, we pioneered uh, lots of different things, and the real breakthrough came when uh, we uh, stumbled upon Bitcoin. So uh, we took the notion of the crypto and blockchain, and we said, why can't we have a loyalty program for bank customers? I mean, Conventional loyalty programs don't work, work for banks. We're heavily regulated. We cannot basically uh, tell our customers, okay, we give you uh, 10 loyalty points for obtaining a credit card from us, and then next time he or she turns up, uh, 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 comes back to us and says, I want to redeem those coins and maybe help me uh, uh, repay my uh, credit card. We, can, we, we cannot say, like uh, in most cases, the traditional loyalty uh, program offers were saying, oh, we changed the condition for uh, we, uh, your, your loyalty program doesn't work on this credit card, or uh, uh, your, your loyalty uh, points um, don't work anymore for our chain of hotels. It expired last year, etc. So, uh, with the, on the uh, loyalty programs that uh, uh, were based on a blockchain, uh, it became very transparent. You could assign value, and it became a property of that individual, whoever we gave it to. And that person could transfer it, could sell it, could use it uh, to get more services from us. And it worked like a real loyalty, because we uh, kept receiving those same clients who, who uh, uh, came back for more business. Uh, we were attracting more clients. And uh, uh, here's, here's, here's uh, what we achieved. Uh, we introduced art coins, ARD coins in 2018, and it took us only three years to hit one million clients. In my previous bank, it took us 25 years to reach one million people. We increased our shareholders base. We currently have 110,000 shareholders in our companies. We have 1.6 million people who get uh, 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 our services through a super app called RDAP. And then uh, uh, we increased our business manifold. 
So how, how does it work? Um, we have a super app, which is called RDAP. You can basically go in there and obtain uh, credit. You can uh, save your money. You can buy an insurance. You can go and uh, do an online shopping. You can even play Lotto. We uh, introduce lots of uh, games on it. And then every time you make a transaction inside the app, we reward you with our coins. Then you can move it to our own exchange, which is called International Digital Assets Exchange, and swap it for security tokens. You can swap it for real estate tokens that we also uh, offer here. They, you can buy Bitcoin with our coins. We make the market for it. You can change it for Mongolian Tugriks or US dollar tethers or US dollar uh, USDC. So it helps us to encourage people to become investors. It helps Mongolia grow and develop because we are increasing a saving rate, investing rate of our citizens. We are accumulating capital. The tokenomics is really simple. Um, basically, uh, you, you, you all know Excel spreadsheets, right? There is a, such a term uh, which is called circular reference. So if you input the formula incorrectly and you refer to one cell twice, it, it, it just doesn't work. In our case, it works perfectly. We have 4.6 billion art coins outstanding. We expense those art coins when we give them as loyalty. When we run out of the reserves, we have to go back to the market and buy it back, put it in our marketing budgets, we have to buy it back at whatever the market is and give it to the next client or to the next uh, 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 service that we uh, just sold on our app. Up to now, we focused on using our ecosystem. The ecosystem is owned by our financial group. We have 45 different financial licenses. We have 40 different companies operating under the group. Most of them are financial services companies, but we have um, uh, now we integrated our development companies. We have uh, 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 basically uh, acquired the companies who provide our solutions in terms of blockchain, core banking systems, um, we own a stock exchange, uh, 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 which, uh, and we own the crypto exchange. We think that the, uh, 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 those two centralized exchanges will have to converge. And we run also a decentralized finance project, which is called Art Money. Um, the next stage will be to expand it to include other vendors, other suppliers, other merchants. And the third stage will be to expand the idea globally, to disrupt the global loyalty program, uh, programs uh, offered by airlines, by hotels, uh, in conjunction with Solana, and uh, with who we are signing a memorandum of uh, understanding to collaborate on disruption of loyalties. Here I wanted to show you a video of uh, a project that we uh, did in March.
Yeah, so uh, 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 basically uh, what you saw was a first full-fledged rock concert inside the metaverse. We invested into a metaverse company. We invested into a, a blockchain development company. We invested into a company which uh, helped us create uh, uh, NFT open marketplace. And uh, uh, we put together, uh, we collaborated with a band, Mongolian band, which is called The Who. It's a, it's a very famous band, you know, uh, touring United States and uh, Europe as we speak uh, with uh, sold out uh, concerts. Um, and we wanted to show that uh, uh, this new technology offers hope for developing countries such as Mongolia, that it puts us on the same starting line, start line with the developed world, that we can now offer something back and also benefit from the, this fourth industrial revolution, if you will, if we uh, put our uh, 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 you know, uh, minds to it and uh, created something that was as uh, uh, crazy as, as that rock concert. The uh, avatars could be bought uh, as NFTs. The tickets were sold as NFTs. You could buy them only through art coins on our landing page. And we played in three ti different time zones. And uh, you could upgrade your avatars and uh, uh, buy uh, different skins, different movements as NFTs, also using art coins. And uh, I think this is a, a bit far-fetched, but uh, I have many kids, uh, um, and uh, I see my uh, youngest ones, you know, wear those Oculus uh, every, every night and uh, uh, interact with their friends, uh, 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 you know, from uh, all over the world and play those games. So uh, most of their free time, in the evenings at least, is spent inside these kind of uh, uh, games. So if the future, that is the young generation, the kids, really embrace this idea of their life inside the metaverse, I said, OK, I'll bring my services my financial services, to them inside the metaverse. And, uh, and here I will stop, and uh, I want to leave you with a, um, this uh, story uh, 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 that I uh, heard uh, uh, in the school when I was a kid myself. And this is uh, an illustration of, uh, uh, of a, a Baron, Baron uh, von Münchhausen, a German fairy tale, basically, uh, 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 the guy who goes around and tells about his adventures uh, to his followers. So one day he rides his horse, he falls into a swamp, he asks for help, nobody comes. So what the, he, does he do? He pulls, takes his ponytail and pulls himself out of the swamp along with his horse. So very early on in my uh, career, I realized that we cannot help poor, uh, uh, so-called poor or low-income people by becoming their good big brothers, by extending our hands, unless that person himself or herself have this inspiration and courage to change, to make a change in their own lives. You don't see a, 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 a successful um, and prosperous person who was helped by somebody to become a successful person. It is he or she himself or herself doing that, changing their lives. It's the same for, to, uh, for, for the countries. You know, you don't have UN or World Banks or Asian or European Development Banks come and help countries. Where have you seen a country that uh, was, uh, became a prosperous country because of donations uh, uh, given by uh, development institutions? No, it is the countries, the nations, the people of those countries who come together, uh, who uh, uh, unite on their vision and set their mission to make their countries prosperous. So, uh, uh, I think um, this, uh, uh, I'll leave you with that story, and uh, I, I hope that uh, Mongolia will be able to pull itself out of the situation we found ourselves 30 years ago. Um, our GDP is growing rapidly. Um, I think uh, our government wants Mongolia to have a, become a prosperous um, middle-income country 
already you know, higher middle-income countries already by the end of this decade. And we, as uh, its citizens, we want to help her achieve this goal. And uh, I uh, count on all your support and help, and uh, I look forward to collaborating with Solana on disrupting loyalty points across the world. Thank you.